We've got an article for you about Atlanta's commercial real estate market. It continues to see high vacancies. I know in residential real estate, we look at markets that are in balance as having a 5% vacancy rate, which means 95% of the rent that should be collected is being collected at a 95% vacancy rate. Certainly, you can have some past due payments that you need to collect, but that's generally what it means. From WABE Radio, January the 22nd, they say Metro Atlanta offices are getting emptier and emptier as remote work continues to have an impact on the commercial real estate market. National office vacancies have hit 19.6%, a new record high according to Moody Analytics. In Metro Atlanta, that number stands at 18.8%, according to Brian Renshaw, a CPA with over 25 years' experience in real estate and hospitality. 2023 was really, really tough year. For 2024, there's some optimism, but it's going to take a while for the occupancy to come up and make these offices more of an attractive asset. Interest rates have dropped since the beginning of the year. This could push more companies to invest in commercial space with construction activity being down. And as Atlanta continues to grow as it has in the past, occupancy will continue to increase because they're going to need space to put the new companies with new employees, many companies just like mine have transitioned to a remote or a hybrid work schedule in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. Since then, offices have struggled to return to 2019 occupancy rates. Ever since um, three quarters of the way through 2020, I have been working primarily out of my home office, which is on the third floor of my townhome. But I will tell you that lately, I am continuing to look for reasons to get out and to go to the office. And I think it is simply because the more time I spend at home alone, the more lonely I become. And, you know, we're made to be connected. Humans are made to be connected with one another. And so I have been thinking my radio studio is in my office in Johns Creek. And I have been thinking that I would move my office back here and try to work a couple of days of week out of the office. Who knows? Um, many, many companies are, have chosen not to renew office space leases, you know, curbing real estate expenses while others turned to other methods of bringing employees back to the workspace. So we'll see what happens with um, commercial office space as we move forward. It's worked really well. We've got people who live in North Carolina. We've got people who live uh, locally in Atlanta. We've got people on our sales staff that'll work part of the time in Florida and part of the time here because they can do most of what they need to do over the phone.